If it's your dream in life to one day eat chocolate that tastes like pizza, well, guess what? I can't really help you with that very much. But if it's your dream to watch me eat chocolate that tastes like pizza and probably say it doesn't taste very good and it's disgusting and weird, well, today's your lucky day, bucko. What's up, guys? It's me, Noah Gluten, and thanks to eBay, they're finally here. That's right, the cheese and pizza flavored chocolates we discussed right here on the show have arrived. And just for her own dark, twisted, personal amusement, T also got some of these. Blue cheese chocolates from the same people who brought you the pizza and cheese flavored chocolates I talked about roughly 12 to 15 seconds ago. Now just as a refresher, these are made by Chiroru, which is a Japanese chocolate company that's known for making super inexpensive chocolates and also super duper weird chocolates, for example, these ones that I'm holding right now. All right, so we're gonna kick things off with a uh, classic cheese chocolate. Classic, you know, you want, before you start messing around with pizza flavor. Now, as a fun precursor to this taste test, our good friends over at Rocket News 24 seem to think that this was the best of all the flavors. So let's get this one out of the way. It smells like old, like, cheese dip. This is weird. Not as bad as I expected. My standards were very low for this. Yeah, it's like a creamy, crispy, chocolatey, cheesy thing. All right, for doing like a scale of one to 10 of foods we've eaten here on the show, uh, one being a steaming pile of diarrhea, which we haven't filmed yet, but we'll get there, uh, and 10 being like those uh, those cream stew Cheetos, which I actually weirdly kind of liked. This is like a six, seven range, six and a half, let's call it. Uh, if it was all food in the world, one being, uh, again, said steaming pile of diarrhea, uh, and then 10 being, you know, like a really awesome home-cooked meal for someone who's really good at their job. Uh, this is like a, like a four. Now, uh, recently opened a pizza place, and uh, we make very good pizza there, so clearly this is uh, gonna be hell for me. Oh, so picture, oh, oh it keeps changing. That's real bad. It's like they took that cheese chocolate thing and keep moving things around in my mouth. Uh, oh man. And then just like put in like, like sweet tomato paste and then somehow also just wiped all the cheese that they put in like across like a sweaty linebacker's anus. Very weird, very bad. This is a solid deuce on both scales, I think. All right, blue cheese. Smells blue cheesy. Oh, there's no biscuit in this one because it's not cheese or pizza flavored. This is just one of those, like, why? Like, why? Oh. It's not as strong as the pizza flavor, which is weird. It just kind of, like, melts in my mouth and gets all runny. And, uh, oh. All right, so pizza's the worst. Blue cheese, second worst. Cheese, third worst. Which I know you could argue it means best, but I'm not using a word like that for any of these. All right, so as painful and miserable and terrible as that was, the one saving grace is now I get to watch the faces of other people uh, while they eat them. So let's feed the office. It smells like those cheese snack, like the, the cheese, the liquid paste cheese that mm -hmm. you smeared on like, crackers back in preschool. Oh, they got wafers in them. Yeah. Better than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's actually not bad. See, it just kind of tastes like a, like a sweetened ricotta. It's like a mm -hmm. like a sweet brie. You like cheese. You like the thing that says cheese on it. It's very accurate. That is definitely below average. I don't know that I would call this a chocolate. No. I would just call this a cheese candy. I don't think I'd ever eat another one. I do not have a strong desire to eat more. Although I really want a cannoli now. Ooh, ooh, yeah, pizza. Yeah. We all like pizza. Pizza's great. It would make an almost convincing, like, pizza for your dollhouse set. Sure. You know, it's like the appropriate size, except... Well, I have a pretty big dollhouse set, but whatever. Ugh. It's not good. It's really not good. It's a weird one. Oh, man. I'm saying it's like somebody was making chocolates, mm -hmm. like at home. Yeah. And they uh, accidentally spilled tomato sauce in it. It tastes like pizza-flavored combos. You remember combos? Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like pizza combos. But with white chocolate. But with white chocolate mixed in. For no and like reason. a worse combo. I'm not quite gagging, but that it's a really near thing. <laughs> it's a fine this. line. That's really bad. Yeah, no, it's not great. That's not a flavor that should be sweet. No. 
Um, are you like a big blue cheese guy? No. Oh, this is okay. Lock it for you. Damn it. Oh no, is it blue cheese? This doesn't have a crunchy thing in the middle. No. Well, it's because it's not pizza. This is definitely a more palatable version of blue cheese. I like blue cheese. Me too. I don't like this. No. Because it tastes like blue cheese covered in sugar. So you like this Actually, more than blue cheese? I yeah, wildly. Wow. This is like thick. And oppressive. And oppressive, and mm -hmm. it does not go away. Like like most blue cheese. Yeah. I don't know why anyone would pay money for any of these. I only can think of one reason, and it's this right now. Do you want a sip of buffalo sauce to wash it down? Kind of. All right, let's rank those chocolates. Um, Number three, coming in dead last. Blue cheese. Number two, pizza. Number one. Real normal cheese. Not real cheese. There's no yeah. real cheese in there. No real chocolate. Uh, well, the pizza was definitely the worst. Mm -hmm. Regular cheese was the best. Mm -hmm. I would do cheese number one, mm -hmm. the blue cheese number two, and pizza number three. It's the future. Food comes in a cube. If you can stay away from the blue cheese for the rest of your life, do so. Try the pizza as a curiosity. Don't. Eat the no, cheese. Don't I do like that. it. I mean, eat like ricotta cheese. Eat pizza. Eat cheese. Eat chocolate. Don't combine them. Definitely the most fun part of eating these was uh, not eating them and then watching someone else eat them. Uh, but basically, uh, the cheese was definitely the consensus favorite. The consensus number two was probably the blue cheese, and then coming in dead last was the incredibly disgusting pizza flavored chocolate, which isn't even really chocolate. Uh, so yeah, these fucking suck. So the people who sent us the uh, pizza chocolates also threw these guys in, just as a nice little bonus. Uh, I can't tell if I think they're being nice or terrible. I don't know what these are. Uh, this one has pizza on the front. This one has a uh, sunflower playing guitar. So clearly these are gonna be weird. Break them open. Let's start with musical sunflower flavor. Oh, real soft. Oh, you know what it tastes like? It's, uh, it was like puffy Cheetos. Not bad. Little childhood nostalgia. Haven't had a Cheetos puff in a long time. Let's try the pizza one. It's really just more like a ketchup flavored cheese stick. Uh, yeah, not into this one. Like Italian cooking, just like let's just throw oregano on everything. All right, so we learned one thing today, which is that these weird Japanese companies are much worse at making pizza flavor than they are at cheese flavor. So thank you for sending these, and uh, thank you, most importantly, for not sending any more of them. That's it for us. I'm Noah Galutin. Subscribe to Taste It, and uh, we do all kinds of stuff on here, like uh, eat Japanese candies, talk about Japanese candies, talk about eating Japanese candies. We do a lot of that here on the show. And then sometimes I make spaghetti.